We got a loaded edition of the Bulls Report coming your way in just a second. But coming up on today's show, Patrick Williams was not extended, so he will be a restricted free agent this summer. I'll give you guys the report on that. And then Zach Levine, obviously we've heard the trade rumors floated around his name throughout this entire NBA offseason, and I understand he is not going to be traded, so don't get in the comment section and yell at me. But Sports Illustrated did suggest the San Antonio Spurs as a sneaky Zach Levine, Zach Levine trade destination. We'll dive into that. Also, DeMar DeRozan. Uh, Brian Windhorst had an interesting quote about DeMar potentially being on the trade block, and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on the whole DeMar situation as a whole. But, guys, we are on NBA opening night eve and the Bulls. I guess it's technically tonight. But the Bulls opening night eve is tonight, and they take on the Thunder tomorrow, and we're going to be live here on the channel. So if you guys see this thumbnail on your YouTube page, it's going to be me hanging out, doing some live play-by-play. -play. So make sure you guys subscribe. Join us tomorrow night. We're going to be going live 30 minutes before tip-off. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. A lot of good basketball players in that game tomorrow night. Excited to see Chet, SGA, and the boys in Oklahoma City. And obviously to see our own Chicago Bulls. So make sure you guys subscribe and tune in for that. But Woj had the report yesterday on a couple of uh, rookie contract extensions. And he said no rookie contract extensions for Sadiq Bey, Manuel Quickly. Patrick Williams and Obi and then Precious uh, Chua for the Raptors as well. And then all those guys will be restricted free agents next summer. And the report also came out from Zach Lowe. And this is uh, not a typo. You guys are reading this graphic correctly. Uh, apparently, Patrick Williams wants $200 million plus in his next contract. You heard that right. Patrick Williams apparently wants a $200 million contract extension. Listen, I, I really am... I think Patrick Williams is a polarizing figure. You got guys that really believe him. You got his stands, and they think he could be the next Kawhi Leonard. And then you got his haters who think he's a complete bust. I probably fall somewhere in the middle, but I don't really know what to make of him right now. That's why I think it's a prove-it year for Patrick Williams. I don't have a strong stance on him either way. I like him as a player, but what he is right now, he's an okay, or he's a good defender, and he's an okay offensive player. I mean, he shot pretty well from deep last season. Obviously struggled during the preseason, but we know the debate passive P or it's aggressive P like when he's downhill when he's getting to a spot when he's rising up and hitting his jumpers he looks pretty freaking good at basketball but when he's passive when he's turning down open threes and he's just kind of not really involved and not really engaged in the game he's a very frustrating player to watch and he was a big reason why the Bulls really weren't that that successful last season but overall that's a report Patrick Williams no rookie contract extension he will be an RFA next summer and also apparently he wants 200 million dollars can't believe that. But we get you guys involved on today's video. Do you believe in Patrick Williams? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no down in the comments section. Listen, I'm probably pretty indifferent right now. Um, listen, I'm not really too sure how I feel about Patrick Williams. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Y for yes, N for no down in the comments section. I'll probably still be typing my Ys. But let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's break it down. Zach Levine to the San Antonio Spurs. This guy right here, could he be shipped out? Obviously, we've heard the reports all summer. Could Levine be going here? Could Levine be going here? Well, we haven't really talked about the Spurs as a potential destination. It was actually Sports Illustrated who suggested it, that the Spurs could be interested in Zach Levine. And I think that's a very interesting case because if you guys haven't heard the hype around NBA preseason, the San, An Sp San Antonio Spurs have this 7'5", demigod who looks like a dude straight out of 2k in Victor Wembanyama and he's been absolutely killing the game right now uh listen Victor like he is one of the most entertaining players I think I've ever seen touch a basketball and if you could pair him up with Zach Levine and be kind of that one-two punch for the Chicago Bulls I mean man it makes a lot of sense to me because you think about just archetypes in the NBA like obviously we've never seen a Victor Wembanyama and probably a combination of a little Kevin Durant and Rudy Gobert but Pairing that big up with the smaller scoring combo guard, I think is a great combo because you got Levine. He's that offensive engine. He is that three-level scorer. Pair him up with this guy who I think has the potential to probably win, honestly, many defensive players of the year awards in a row in Victor Wembanyama. I think it makes a total, total sense for me uh, from that side, from the Spurs side of things. So listen, I understand that from the Spurs side of it, why they would want to trade for Levine. Obviously, it's going to come down to the package and what the Bulls could get uh, if they do decide to move off him at the trade deadline. I'm still in the camp where I probably wouldn't move Levine. Even if the Bulls are bad, I understand he's your number one trade asset, but I would rather use Levine as a player to trade around. But what type of haul would you guys want for Zach Levine? If you said, or if I told you, you have to move off Zach Levine, 
What type of haul would you want? Let me know your thoughts down below. Coming up here in just a second, Brian Windhorst said an interesting quote around DeMar DeRozan that he could be potentially on the trade block even before the NBA trade deadline. Stick to or stay tuned for that. But first, I want to give you guys a huge shout out uh, or tell you about Prize Picks, the sponsors of today's Bulls Report. Listen, it's daily fantasy made easy. I absolutely love using Prize Picks. Makes the games so much, so much more entertaining. Uh, listen, I'm super excited to tell you about Prize Picks, the new sponsor here at the Bulls Report. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America and is the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. They already got plays you can make for this season. This is the last chance to get them in tonight or obviously tomorrow during the day. But I'm taking the more on Zach Levine, 25.1 points per game. Taking the less on DeMar this year, actually. I think uh, Kobe White and Patrick Williams getting more shot attempts. I think his scoring will just naturally go down, so I'm taking his less. And I'm also going to take the more on Nikola Vucevic rebounds per game at 10.9. You guys got to join in on the fun. Makes the game so much more enjoyable to watch. And, yeah, get hooked up. PrizePix.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. I'll make sure to put that link for you guys in the comments section and the description of today's show. But get to hooked up today with prize picks. Um, yeah, it's a ton of fun. Make sure you guys uh, click the link down in the comment section and the description. But this is what Brian Windhorst had to say about DeMar DeRozan. Uh, this was a couple days ago. Pretty interesting. Uh, he said one guy to keep an eye on for everybody, the whole league this year, is DeMar DeRozan. If he doesn't extend with the Bulls, I think he becomes a trade target as the season goes along. And my conclusion on the whole DeMar DeRozan kind of saga here in Chicago I would move DeMar ASAP. Um, listen, from what I've seen in the preseason, obviously he's going to make a big attempt at to shoot more threes this year. I mean, he's shooting about five a game during the preseason, which, I mean, if you told a common NBA fan that, that DeMar, DeRoz DeMar DeRozan is shooting five three-point attempts per game, they would probably say you're lying. But overall, my case with DeMar, I would move him just mainly because I just don't really think in general he fits with this Bulls team. Obviously, you make the argument, all right, if we do move DeMar, we want to go younger, we want to get some assets, you could go that uh, side of things. But just overall fit with how this roster kind of is, I just don't really think DeMar is, uh, you know, I just don't really think he complements what we do well. Like, what do the Bulls want to do well? Like, they want to be a really good defensive team and get out and run and gun and shoot a lot more threes this year. And I appreciate DeMar for kind of being self-aware and saying, I need to take more three-point attempts, which he did this preseason. But I would rather have the shots go to Kobe White or Patrick Williams. Because honestly, like, the thing that bothers me with DeMar, and he's a great dude, like he's a great leader, a great mentor for a lot of these young guys, but it's like you got to adapt with the times a little bit. And he's finally starting to do it, but I just think it might be a little too late. If you could somehow fetch a first-round pick for DeMar that's unprotected, I would do it in a heartbeat. But, oh, I don't know. I would, I would probably move off DeMar ASAP, but obviously if you guys disagree with me, you guys can let me know down in the comments section. But, hey, speaking about DeMar DeRozan, he's going to be playing tomorrow night, and I'll be rooting for him. Don't you worry. I'll be rooting for our boy, number 11, uh, versus Thunder tomorrow night. So make sure you guys do tune into that. Subscribe. Stay tuned in on all Bulls, news, rumors, whatever it may be. Thank you guys so much for watching today's show. See you guys next time. Go Bulls.